What's going on YouTube? This is a uh, yellow Mustang here. We're doing another Roblox scripting tutorial. Wow. Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing um, touched uh, function events. So whenever something touches this block, we're going to make something happen. It can change colors or blow up or, or whatever we want to happen. So we're going to start by creating a script within the, uh, the part here. It's already nice and zoomed in. Hello world. All right, so we're going to do script. All right, dot parent, which is part one. Dot touched. Okay. There's there's multiple touched events. There's touched ended and touched. We're gonna be using touch. So as soon as something touches this, it's going to call this uh, connect function here. So you can call an actual function with this, or make it an anonymous function. Anonymous function would be like you know function. Just get rid of this extra parenthesis there and then you know print ob dot name so what it's doing here is it creates a new function no name or anything and it's going to return whatever is touching uh, the uh, the part so so when the touched event is called it, it only returns one thing it returns the um, the object that is touching it so in this case we would print the object name so if we go ahead and um, load into the world here and touch our handy dandy little parts you will see it already touched the base there and now okay it's touching touching all my body parts down here right leg humanoid root part everything right so that's one way of uh, utilizing this uh, another way people like to do it's more organized you can make a function for it so or like we'll name it part touched so it'll be part touched and then we can do like you know script dot parent dot parent dot color equals color three new so basically um that function just as soon as it's called it's going to uh change the color of the uh the part so we can do part touched and this is this is how you put a function within the uh, the event. So anytime you see ev uh, the uh, the connect, the uh, this is a function event here. So it's not going to be called like a loop. Only when it's touched is when this is going to connect the part touched function. So touched by default, like I said earlier, is going to pass this function what touched it, which is going to be put into obj which is object so it's going to tell us what is touching it so it's going to change the the uh, the color here and then we will print object object name again just to um just to double check that it is actually you know telling us what it's touching so let's go ahead, load in here and you can already see this uh this part here change colors as soon as it touched the base plate so now we touch it and look at it go it's changing colors like crazy, you know, because every time this is being touched, it's calling that function, and that function is just changing the parts, um, the parts color. So let's let's do something a little more interesting here. So instead of color changing, we can do um, script uh, parent uh, position equals script uh, parent uh, position plus vector three new. So every time this part is touched now by anything, it is going to go up by one. So let's say we want it to um, only go up by one stud if the object is a a humanoid, has a humanoid, uh, like it's a player or it's an NPC or something. So it's something living. So only if something living touches this do we want this to go up by one stud. So we can do if object find first or no so it'd be object right so dot parent find first child humanoid then we'll do this then then it will go up by one and then we can do else print not alive sad face We're very sad about that so you can see here if object dot parent find first child humanoid then so 
it's going to find whatever the parent is of the object, right? So you could see, like, you know, the left leg, right leg, etc. There's not going to be a humanoid inside of it, but the parent, which is my character, it can find a humanoid. Okay, so this is going to return true, and then this is going to go ahead and increase by one. So enough talking about it. No, boring you guys to death. Let's just see if it works. So I touch the base plate, not alive, unfortunately. Um, and then here we go. All right, we got our, our bouncing brick now. Uh, real, real cool, real functional. Yeah, you know, it just just flies up in the air, and as you can see, it's not it's printing not alive like a million times because it keeps touching the base plate. But every time we touch this brick, it'll go up by one. So that is the gist of uh, the uh, touched the touched event. So um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and that's the end of the video.